everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I will be showing you some wigs that I have and telling you a little bit about them. So stay tuned for more. Okay, so as I've explained, um, basically, I do modelling and um, the reason I've got these wigs is these different types of shoots because sometimes wigs are very good for um, using them for different occasions, for different outfits because sometimes black hair doesn't match with green or yellow or red or, you know, it really depends on the outfit you want to wear so you can always change your look or just one day just, you know it's also something that you can think about for example when you're when you want to dye your hair um, and you don't know what colour you want to go wigs are perfectly to see like whether this fit your skin tone etc and etc okay so so basically I have got my wigs in here um, and another one they're basically shoe boxes because just better kept I can't bother getting some mannequins all over my room or anything like that so basically I have got uh, quite a few different wigs um, you know uh, if, if you're going to use wigs on a day to day basis I think it's best to use obviously your hair colour um, like that you can change your look without anybody knowing you're actually wearing a wig and different wigs every day so basically here is one of my wigs um, this is the black one and as you can see it's quite beautiful I'll actually post some pictures at the end of um, me actually wearing this wig in one of my modeling shoes and you can't actually tell you're wearing a wig so that's a good thing about them um, I wouldn't say this is the most amazing wig but it is actually quite good um, I don't think you'll be able to see but it's got a natural sort of hairline thing on there going on and it's got a fringe you can cut them uh, what's good with this wig is that you're able to cut them you're able to straighten them curl them obviously you've got to use a um, certain amount of heat on them you don't want to be ruining them and um, they're quite inexpensive as well um, I'll put a link down to this one where I got this one from okay so here I'm back with um, the black wig on as you can see it's really long it looks quite natural and um, you know it's got the fringe you can always make that a front fringe or you can always cut it you can make a, a full fringe and you can adjust it to your size basically um it is quite long and it's not in very great conditions right now because i have used it for shoots and stuff um but oops um it is a great wig and I could probably go out in this and no one would be able to know that I'm wearing a wig. Um, the reason for that is that I wear extensions, long extensions, and now I don't as much, but I used to. So my hair used to actually look just like this, but this is just pop it on, that's it. Like You, you, you can be ready straight away uh, and ready to go out on a night out. Um, I do have quite a lot of different wigs as well. I am going to do a tutorial to show you um, how I put the wigs on and the best way to recommend it. I mean, there's lots and lots of videos out there. Um, so actually, I won't because what's the point? <laughs> so um, there's other types of wigs. Um, that you can use for example for bridal uh, wear and stuff like that like this is like a a very small uh, well it's not that small but it's like a bun and you can always create more like a different sort of hairstyle on top of that so like for example you can create um, more volume with this and you can use it for different occasions to do an updo it's a quick and easier way and they've got these straps here that you can use obviously when you're wearing wigs like this you have to wear the one of these as you may know so basically I'll just show you a little bit about this wig in case you decide to buy it it's I think it was about I'm not too sure about I'm not sure but anyway I post I post a link it was quite it was very cheap actually it wasn't expensive at all this is what it looks like I'm not sure if you can see because the lion and I'd, I'd say this is quite good I mean you get these straps here for your hair excess hair at the end 
to tighten it and it actually doesn't move from your head. Um, it's very well made I'd say, you know, you get what you pay for and yeah, they are great wigs to experiment on. Um, you can get even longer ones to sort of do bobs and all that stuff. Anyway, um, I have got a few different ones. Sorry about my hair. It's a bit of a mess. Anyway. anyway. I've got um, a few different ones. I've got brown ones. Um, I've got a pink one. This one's very good quality as well. It's very like stunning. It's very, very nice. Um, I also have red. Um, a lot of you that know me as Chip from Chip Bowl. Um, I used to have red hair. My red hair used to be literally like this. It was amazing, but got too bored of it. I've got a purple wig, which it works very well for alternative shoots. For example, you know, if you haven't got all that crazy hair and you're like, oh yeah, well, I want to be in this shoot. Why not? Get a purple wig on, or a red one, or a pink one. This one's really good. Um, absolutely stunning. I might do a few reviews on them, um, just to show you. This is a brown long one. Um, it's very similar to the other one. Um, as but you know, as I say, it depends how it works on your on your skin tone and stuff like that. But as you can see, very. This is a very very natural looking um, wig. Um, well, guys. Um, that's all for today. Um, I'll definitely be posting more things on wigs possibly. Um, if you do have any questions, any requests, do message me, do comment below um, and yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!